to go across now. Yeah. Beauty is Bembridge hasn't got an ATZ anymore, so you right. free ground if you want or go straight across. Well what I might do is I'll get the other side and then I'll just yeah. track along to Cape. When we came back on the ferry the other day, it was absolutely millpool. There wasn't a ripple anywhere. There isn't much now, is there? Right. The prison used to have a, a no-fly, but that's a helicopter no-fly, isn't it? Just helicopter, yeah, nothing else, just helicopter. Yeah, I'm back again to two-handed, but it just... Comfortable. Just sits comfortably. It probably takes John the same time to fly the channel as it does for me to fly this. Well, speed ain't everything. I mean, I no, had that no. Whitman and, uh, you know, sometimes you think everything's too fraught in the bloody thing. Yeah. It's not relaxing like this. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, I used to love my Nord. Yeah, I but, did. I loved it. I loved but my this, is, this is very comfortable. I love the wing beneath me now. I don't like the yeah. wing anymore. And then there's the, you know, the fact that I just thrown all that stuff in the back. Yeah. Just literally, boom. Yeah. Ours was only a 65-powered one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine, so yeah, as was mine. It's not now, it's a 90. Is it? it? When it was rebuilt, yeah. When it got re nut bolt restoration, it cost, I cost a fortune. So I was out of it by then. Yeah. I've driven it enough times, now I've got to try and find out where I'm going. So but anyway, go you, you, know, you know your way around, don't yeah, you? Yeah, just go straight up there. Don't worry about the sticky out bit. If you go straight out there, it takes you straight over cows. Yeah. Actually, when you look at it, like this ride is quite big, isn't it? Yeah. So there's no restriction in terms of hours at the airfield? No. Do what you like. Which is nice. A bit like a pop Sun out pop traffic, pop. this is Gold Fox Drop on correct three. Uniform lining up 2 3 for immediate departure. Well, we're using 2 3. Is that a visitor or a. Sounds like it. Yeah. I don't recognise the voice. We have to fly in formation, they're both red and white. Yeah, yeah. You gonna come to Santa Maria this year? Yeah, I think I will. Oh, can I? Uh, can't, can I? I haven't got a class two. I'm still on a self-certification. All right. I'm on a, I'm on a lapel, but it is an EASA lapel. No, mine's not. Unless I go and have a class too. I can't, no reason why I can't. Yeah. It's just that when you go off the island, go over there, it ended up costing me about 350 pounds. Yeah, yeah. I was working today right up the other end. Were you? Drove me mad, huh? 30, 28 mile drive. <laughs> sure sign I'm an islander now. Yeah, well, when we uh, had Kate's wedding, because they're all farmers, we actually had to have, have the, the wedding and reception here. And uh, although they're over there at Newport, we had it the reception at uh, Langard Manor at Lake. Yeah. And some of them were complaining because they'd had to drive the length of the island. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they've still got the remnants of the show out. Yeah, there's the caravans there, aren't they? The thorny. Yeah.
used to be out of land there. It used to be a microlite strip there. Did there? Yeah. Well, I, don't, I don't think it is now, but it was. Something going on there, isn't there? Well, it's that's the that's what's referred to as Granddad's farm. Right. They're somewhere. If they are somewhere here. There's supposed to be in a bouncy castle in the back of the house, but I can't. I can't see anybody out at all. No. I thought they were people, but they're just bales of. Yeah. Because their farm is... See that field with the cows in? Yeah. This bottom right-hand corner, right. that's where my daughter and son-in-law live. No cars there. They may well have gone to the airfield. Yeah. Okay, so what would you normally do here? Join downwind or? No, I'd join on base. If you run along the top of the downs, see the yep. downs there? Run along the top, top of the downs and just come and then join right base for two, three. Okay. Or well, say I run along the top, you can come to the right of it a bit. You know? Yeah. Okay, so... There's the downs. Yeah. Let's run along the right-hand side of them. And you'll see the runway. Yep. There's the white stone on the top. It's yep. our, our downwind marker. We, that's what we use for our downwind. Okay. So, you know, when you're ever climbing out and you're, or you're coming into land, you fly downwind towards that marker, then turn right onto base. Uh, sound down traffic, Golf Alpha Yankee, again, hotel with a uh, Jodel inbound from the west. Sound down traffic. I'm missing that scorched bit of ground down I have lost it at the moment. You're right. Oh, so I can see the, the I can see the hangers. Yes, it. Yeah, so we come downwind towards that, and then turn right in front of the downs, not go over them. Okay, yeah. That's our base, and then. Found out traffic of over Yankee Echo Hotel base four two three. Found out traffic. Watching you, I I definitely am approaching too fast in mine. Got to get used to it a bit more. Yeah. He just loves to glide as well, doesn't he? He does. I'm afraid it was a bit of a curved approach. Is there a curl over on the trees or anything? You can get a bit. I would not, I would have thought. If it's almost straight down, so I wouldn't have yeah. Although what, I noticed one windsock said something completely different to the other one.
you're never a hundred percent sure which way she's gonna go. <laughs> Useful taxi to the end, don't you? The, yeah. The taxiways are as rough as can be as well. Are they? The grounds are, don't it? Yeah. I'll put it around the back end there, that um, static caravan. Okay. Gets a bit of shit off from the hangers as well, that way. I um, thought I'd check the tyres, of course I have to take the spats off. Yeah. No holes. I was going to say you need to have a look at these ones, don't you? Less than 10 there was in them. Yeah. I pumped them up now, but uh, it's a lot easier to push out the hangar. <laughs> Put the spat back on, yeah, down the hard or, yeah. I normally come on to that this and side. And then uh, in the morning will the fuel tank it, bit pump the Yeah, open? yeah, yeah. yeah. Aiden opens it first thing. It samples it and opens it. Yeah. But I can go and get your can of bow gas if you want. No, 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 it's fine. I mean, I, I did say to Eric that I would be popping up with um, Just don't, Av gas. Don't do what I did. I caught my wing on one of these bloody cones. Did you? I, so I've got to repair it. Yeah. I, I had a blinking hole in the fabric. Yeah, so we'll just I, run I down here. Yeah, run down there or cut. cut through the middle of these cones here and go down straight down towards that yellow plane. I'll park it down there somewhere because it gets a bit of shelter that way. Put it next to that one. What the other side of it? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just watch that cone on the Yeah. Place. So I've got a thing about You've got a thing about cones. I've got a thing about cones, yeah. I went past the one, one the other day and I thought, I've knocked that over. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> we can push back a bit, can't we? By staying overnight, I was there next morning for my grandson Ollie's birthday. Are you helping me then? Yeah? Yeah, one more to do. Okay, can you pull the hooks out or not? Yeah, pull them up rather than twist them. Keep pull. Yeah, that's it. Big pull. Okay, ready? Oh, you don't need me to help. There we are. And now can you carry them and put them with the others? Mind your head when you get up. Okay then, over there with the rest. Our girls there go, hotel is ready for departure. Take a look over here. Air surface wind is uh, probably at the zero weight knot.
Decker Hotel is to the north uh, QSY en route and uh, see you again soon. Gothic Hotel, Roger, safe from the journey. It's a long journey. Um, we've still got over over an hour. At the moment, it's fairly comfortable. I've got an outside air temperature of 23. Um, it's kind of very disconcerting to be well, flying. Well, I can help the golf gal into which you're going. Let me check it. Three, the course one is standby. Golf gal into which you're going. It's very disconcerting to be flying along with a fuel gauge which is registering zero, but I have just filled it up completely, so I know I've got 55 litres in there. Although for the time being, I'm flying off the rear tank. I think um, over the next couple of days, I'm going to have to try and get in. Dave has suggested that perhaps I look at the float and uh, see if it is the float that uh, failed. It was quite strange. Uh, I don't know whether or not I picked it up on that that camera yesterday, but it just very slowly wound from three quarters down to nothing. So we did that precautionary landing into uh, Damon's Hall um, and dipped it and found out that it was virtually exactly what we were expecting it to be. But it was just one of those situations whereby it was far better to have uh, have tried it and seen it for ourselves. The sky's looking a little bit puffy ahead, but there wasn't anything on the forecast to say that it was going to give us any major problems. Um, checked all the NOTAMs, checked the route. We are just coming up to the south of uh, Goodwood Zone. We are well clear to the south, but it's it's there. Uh, well, it's quite interesting that Dave pointed out the gliding site at Bogner Regis last night, very close to the centre of the town. the same but I'm working off the height bug of the EFIS which I've set at 1500 feet. I'm going to go the upfield way.
Nothing else really at the moment to report. But hey ho, I still come back to what I said to Dave last night. I consider myself very lucky to be able to, to do this. Some people only get a chance to dream of it. Front fuel tank still registering zero. Even if I tap it, back one is saying three quarters. Crept up a little bit to go over here, but I mean there's not a, a height restriction, but I will have to bring it down a little bit after passing shore. Expecting it over the ridges here, I have to admit. And where there's uppers, there's usually downers. back on when we get uh, nearer the bridge. From this point on the original soundtrack isn't really usable. The static level is high and I couldn't reduce it on the squelch. I was talking as if you were there flying with me and how I always feel a little removed from the world as I fly over places that I know, places that I drive, places that I visit, and how the world unfolds in front of me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please tick like, share, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Join me next time when I sit in on an IFR flight to Ospin in the DR500 with David.